So a few days ago, I had the opportunity to explore an artificial reef site that I actually helped create. Hello underwater enthusiast, Joe here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you what an artificial reef looks like two years after the structures have been placed in the ocean. So the goal of this project was to create a reef site offshore Ponte Vedra, an area in Northeast Florida. Fortunately, we had some great project participants, one of those being Gate Precast. They loaded an entire giant barge full of concrete structures, some including these double T structures, which we're really excited about. Those materials were dragged offshore and placed in the ocean. And two years later, this is what we have. It's amazing to see the amount of life and the diversity of life on this reef already in just a short period of time. We had a great diversity of fish species. We had fish that fishermen like to catch, like red snapper, mangrove snapper, sea bass. We had tropical fish. We had fish with color. We had pork fish. We had gray angel fish, fish that you would think that you would see normally on more Caribbean reefs. We had them right here offshore Northeast Florida at a reef site that was less than two years old. So really amazing everything we saw and observed. The growth on the structure was some of the most magical stuff for me to see. We saw a diversity of life there as well. We had corals, we had sponges, we had tunicates, we had anemones, we had soft corals, and we even had stony corals starting to show up. And that's really exciting because although those are slower growing corals, those corals will grow over time and create additional forms of shelter and food resources for the marine critters that live at this reef. So just really neat to see the growth and the diversity of life, this site already, all because these concrete materials were placed in the ocean. Very, very cool. One negative thing we did see is we did find an accumulation of you know fishing gear, uh, lost line, some fishing hardware, as well as some discarded anchor rope. And this is something we see in all our reef sites. It's, it's not anything isolated to this reef. And it's just something that goes to show you that our Offshore reef ecosystems need to have some sort of maintenance program in place to clean up after people, just like anything on land does. It's just anything utilized by people needs a cleanup crew, and our reef systems are no different. So we are hoping to scale up some reef cleanup efforts down the road, and we will definitely put this reef on our list to maintain. And for my camera friends out there, for those of you curious, this dive site's about 70 feet deep. We had a visibility of about 20 to 25 feet. All this footage was captured using only ambient light. And it's pretty amazing to think that we can get these colors and this exposure only using ambient lights. So being involved in the coordination of the project, it was really exciting for me to see this site and what it looks like two years later. I hope you all enjoyed this little segment. We will continue to monitor this reef over time. Appreciate you watching. Thank you. I'm Joe Kistel.